You can be a Christian and believe in evolution, because you do. And the foreword uh, to your book is written by Francis Collin, and he does. So yes, you can. Lots of people do. Uh, but, but is it logically consistent to do so? I mean, lots of people believe inconsistent things as well. So how, how do you reconcile Christianity and evolution? Well, I mean, I, I think it's not so much a matter of reconciling them as kind of recognizing that they don't make as much contact with each other as a lot of people think. I mean, Christianity is mainly about God's revelation in Christ and how that's understood. And it's hard to see how evolutionary theory really connects to that one way or the other, either to support or, or refute it. And I think it's only if we get distracted by the first couple of chapters of Genesis and elevate them in importance beyond what's appropriate that we have a, a real conflict. Why is it, well then if it was only a matter of Christians believing in Jesus, then why do Christians seem so concerned about evolution and not, say, relativity or some other scientific theories? Well, I think it's because we really would like to see ourselves as absolutely unique and uh, on, on, a, on a pinnacle in the natural order, kind of separate from the rest of creation. I think that's a very attractive and intuitively self-serving uh, position for us to be in, and evolution compromises that. I mean, as, as I mentioned in the book, I mean, we, I think we do have to kind of generalize the familiar theology of the image of God and so on, and, and include more of the natural world uh, in, that, uh, in that term. Uh, so some people are threatened by that. But why Americans in particular and not, say, Europeans? Well, America's always been incredibly religious, and that's a very kind of complicated sociological problem. I, I, I think that America has kind of always had an entrepreneurial side to its religious fervor and assaulting evolution turned out to be entrepreneurially successful and so a lot of uh, movements kind of emerged that were driven by that. You mean there's a niche to be filled in a Darwinian sense. You can actually make money being an anti-evolution. Yes, there's yeah. an ecological <laughs> niche there. <clears throat> that is the all-American way. 